Hey, I'm Sean. I'm a photographer and I'm going to give you a crash course in 35 millimeter film. What I like about 35 millimeter is that it gives you a chance to kind of slow down and really consider your shots versus digital where it's kind of instant. When it comes to choosing 35 millimeter camera, you can go with something like a point and shoot that's more automatic, it kind of sets the exposure for you and it's kind of off the cuff and quick shooting. You can go with something that's more manual where you can control the shutter speed or the aperture which controls the depth of field, what's in focus, what's out of focus. Um, when it comes to choosing different types of 35 millimeter film, the main thing you want to consider is color black and white as well as ISO. Uh, when loading a 35 millimeter camera, you're going to want to open the back, put the film in, pull out a little bit of film, load it into the spool, wind it slightly, close the back, and then you're going to want to wind the camera until it gets to the zero number. And then you take an exposure, and after that, you'll be good to go. When loading an automatic 35 millimeter camera or a point and shoot, you're going to want to put the film in the back, take a little piece of film out, put it a little bit into the spool, and then you close the back, and the teeth should catch the film, and it should load automatically and set to the first exposure. Uh, the main things to consider when shooting 35 millimeter film, on the camera you're going to want to set the ISO to the ISO that matches the film. Secondly, you're going to want to make sure the exposure is proper. That will be determined by the aperture or f-stop, uh, which controls the depth of field. Then you're going to want to determine the proper shutter speed, which will kind of stop motion in the image. For someone that wants to get into photography, I think 35 millimeter film is great because it forces you to slow down, really consider the shot. It's not so instant. It also will give you a chance to kind of take into consideration what the settings on the camera are actually doing and really understand light. Thanks for hanging out today. Hopefully this inspires you to go get a camera and shoot some film yourself.